Hi everybody, I'm Karen Goodrich. Today I'm going to talk about the basic supplies you need for acrylic pour painting. I'm going to start with plastic sheeting. Go to the hardware store, go to Walmart, get a roll of this. It's a 25 foot roll, comes in varying widths and varying thicknesses. Get whatever they have. Cover your entire table with it. because You can't have any fun if you're going to worry about uh, making a mess. This is, you will love this. Don't use newspaper, wax paper, shower curtains. Just get a roll of this. It'll last you a long time. You'll really like it. Cover your entire table with it. Yes, paint peels off, and so does cured resin. The next thing you need are yogurt cups to keep your canvas off the surface of the table. These are squattier and more stable than than a taller pouring cup. So just get just use some yogurt cups. Put your canvas down right on it. Pouring cups. If you're just beginning, get some five ounce cups. These are bathroom cups, I believe they call them. Put individual colors into these five ounce cups and then get a nine ounce cup and you can pour your individual colors into a nine ounce cup at the same time and it's called a dirty pour. This nine ounce cup, if it's full or almost full, will cover a 12 by 12 canvas and you'll probably have some paint left over. You can also reuse cups. You don't feel, don't feel like you need to just use them once and throw them away. This has some dried paint in it. I'm going to use it again. This is, these are stir sticks. This is way more important than you think. These are called jumbo craft sticks, super cheap. Amazon, Walmart, dollar store. I stir my paint with these because the most important thing you can do as a pouring paint artist is to get the right consistency for your paint. And if you're using the same type of, of stir stick, you'll develop a feel for how it feels, whether the paint is too thick or thin enough. I see a lot of people using the ends of paint brushes go like this they fall over I don't know why you would do this it's no good these are great use it they don't fall over canvas just get some cheap canvas and again Amazon is the best place Michaels too expensive Hobby Lobby too expensive even with a coupon just get some inexpensive canvas from Amazon you have the freedom to know knowing you're going to paint on something that's inexpensive and you can also paint over it if you don't like what you do just so do not skip this step this is like a primer coat the surface of your canvas with gesso the factory finish on these cheap canvases are not great even though it says oh pre gessoed it's cheap stuff. Go ahead and put your own surface down before you paint. That way you know it won't leak through and the, the whiteness of the gesso will help your colors stay bright. Do it. Paint. There are two kinds of paint. There's craft paint and there's artist paint. This is craft paint. Apple Barrel from Walmart. Martha Stewart. Americana is a good craft paint. These are good inexpensive paints to start with. There's nothing wrong with them. I'm not real crazy about Martha Stewart because of this. I don't like these little holes. She's not much of an artist if you ask me. But don't be afraid to use this inexpensive craft paint, especially when you're beginning. Golden is another, is a, an artist paint. It's probably my favorite artist paint, but it's too expensive. I don't buy it anymore. I also don't like their bottles either. I don't like those little openings. What I use, and I've been using this, these paints for eight, nine years now, is Nova Color Paint. I like the jars they've come in. You can get different amounts. You can dip your stick in there, and it's really easy access. Nova Color is a Los Angeles paint manufacturer. You're not going to find it in a catalog. You have to either order direct from them or go to their factory store. Luckily, I'm close enough where I go right to their factory store and I buy their paint. Uh, pouring medium. 
I also use Nova. <clears throat> this is called Novaplex Glossy Flexible Acrylic Extender and Mixing Medium. There's a popular brand that people buy and it's so expensive. This is about half as much, maybe not quite half as expensive, but I use this and it can be thinned with water. Again, Nova Color. You can also try, if you're just starting out or if you've been doing it a while, Elmer's Glue. I'd like to try and find the, the clear glue, but you can use the white glue as well. Use it as a pouring medium, thin it with water. The last thing is varnish. Again, you're going back to the hardware store. It, this is at every hardware store. It is polycrylic, Minwax polycrylic protective finish. Glossy. It, it makes a really nice shiny finish and it's less expensive than resin. Everybody wants a resin finish, but resin is expensive and it's a sticky mess. And if you, if you mix it wrong, you've got a mess on your hands. So. If you're going to do a lot of paintings, which if you're pouring you are, use this polycrylic. It makes a nice shiny finish. Here's an example of a painting. Hopefully you can see the glossy finish on it. It's really nice and easy to find. So that's my uh, list for today. I hope, you, I hope this helps you get started. And again, my name is Karen Goodrich. If you want to follow me on Instagram or I also have an Etsy shop, just search for my name. It's Karen with a C. Thanks.